It's the end of the day with Ray. Hello, my friends. Well, I saw this tweet from Elon Musk, and I said, man, that'll make a great episode for the end of the day with Ray. I'll get to Elon's tweet in a minute, but before I do that, I want to talk about HP share price. Remember the 14% bump it got when Warren Buffett decided to buy an 11% stake? And then I did a video, and I talked about why I was still extremely bearish on HP, regardless of Warren's thinking, and why I remained bullish on our friends over at Xerox. Well, it, it appears that maybe some investors were watching that video because the excitement in the HP share price is kind of petered out, if you will. So without any further ado, let's jump on the Sharp Interactive Board. I put together this chart and I wanted to see where was the highest price of the stock this year since January that without any kind of influence from Buffett, when was the highest point? And that would have been March 29th. The stock was 39.72 a share. 39.72, March 29th. On April 6th, the stock was 34.91. It started to go down. And then Warren Buffett puts the, puts the billions in there, right? Buys the 11% stake. The stock goes up 14 points to $40.06 a share. And that was on April 7th. April 22, which was last Friday, the stock was at 36.79. And it's pretty close to that number this morning when I looked. So basically, my friends, we're down about 9% from Buffett's high. But take Buffett out of the picture completely and we're down 7% from the March high. So I'm sure you're going to start seeing more executives over at HP wishing they would have sold that stock at 40 bucks a share. <laughs> I'm sure some of them probably did. I'll have to look at that report and share it on an episode soon. But let's get to the tweet because that's what I want to talk about. Because Elon Musk, he's asking a question and we should all pay attention to the question that Elon's asking. And I'm going to ask all the watchers a question. Who's right? Warren Buffett taking an 11% stake in a commodity print business with no real services other than commodity products in a declining marketplace? Or Elon Musk? This is what Elon Musk was talking about in a tweet. It was a tweet. They were talking about printers. It was pretty hysterical. There was a, it was a pretty good feed. I took a section out and I'm going to just talk about that. So Elon says, rage against the machine, never specified what type of machine they were furious with, but I reckon it was a probably a printer. I reckon it was probably a printer. And then Elon went on to say this. Also, why are there still printers? Why are there still printers? He's got the smiling face with the tears coming out. He's laughing so hard. He's asking the question, why are there printers? Ladies and gentlemen, Elon Musk is not the only person in the world that's asking why are there still printers. I think anybody under 40 is asking themselves why are there still printers. And we need to pay attention to this because the industry is still in quite denial. When I see what my friends are posting online regarding the print industry, when I see how they talk to the community, folks, we're, we're still delivering the print message like it's the year 1990. Quite honestly, some of you are delivering it like it's the year 1970. We haven't changed or modified the print deliverable to face the realities of a marketplace where more and more people are asking, why are there still printers? We look at the work from home or the remote worker about printing instead of why should they even print? We still look at the offices, oh, all, please all go back there so we can overspec and oversell A3. So my message today is simple. We, gotta, we got to innovate the deliverable of print. Over the last couple of years, I've been preaching, please innovate your deliverable. You got to start delivering broader services, IT services as an example. But you got you to gotta go deeper in these accounts and get broader services to these customers so you can replace the revenue from the declining print world. And you still have to do that. But ladies and gentlemen, you also have to reinvent the print deliverable itself. You have to reinvent this whole entire deliverable, the sales process, the service process. Over the next 18 to 24 months, our industry is going to see some massive cost cuts from the OEMs. A lot of the OEMs are going to publish their year ends. So that those, those financials will come out in May. And it's not going to be pretty for some of these folks. We all know it. And I'm telling you right now. The leadership in these OEMs is going to start realizing we've got to cut, cut, cut. We've got to cut cost and realign the deliverable to fit the market realities. Because more and more of these executives 
are starting to listen to people like Elon Musk when they ask the question, why are there still printers? So ladies and gentlemen, don't run from the question. Don't think the question's absurd. Embrace it. Get ready for it. Because this isn't just about OEMs cutting their cost. What do you think these private equity groups are going to be doing? They're going to be cutting costs like crazy over the next 24 months. What do you think really smart dealerships are going to be doing? They're going to be cutting costs and realigning the print deliverable to match the new realities of the print marketplace. It's happening right now. Get ready for it because it's going to be painful. I can't wait for all the complaints to start coming in. Oh, the service on that OEM is terrible because they cut all these people. They're going to cut a lot of people. Human capital is going to get cut hard. It's just the reality. The end users are using the products less and less, right? The revenue from those products continues to, to decrease. There has to be an adjustment. And that adjustment's coming. So I strongly suggest you really start thinking about what Elon said. Why are there still printers? And then fix your business to capitalize on the decline. And while you're doing that, diversify into broader services. Just some things to think about, my friends, because we all know this. Status quo is the killer of all that will be invented. Don't get stuck in status quo, and I'll see you all tomorrow.